Hi, I'm Mikola, and you are watching TDC Moncton. Well, no, you're not. You're watching Mikola. But soon you'll be watching TDC Moncton. Right now. 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 You'll be watching TDC Moncton now. 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 All right. Go ahead. Watch Mikola. <laughs> One ball's as good as another. Hey folks, it's Nick and Mitch. Hello. And we've just come out from seeing mad crazy love. No, crazy stupid love. Crazy stupid love. Oh, I've been hit by Mitch's sausage fingers. And uh, my fossil wash also probably took a glance out of your cheek. Ouch. Anyways, like he said, that's the title of the movie. But the movie itself is really worth it. Uh, at least a rental. It's not an absolute must-see in theaters. Not not because it's not a good movie. Quite to the contrary, it's just that it's it's a romance comedy and rom-com. It's, rom -com. it's a bit of a chick flick, but it is still fun for a guy. Actually, I think it's more of a guy flick than a chick flick. You're right with the with Steve Carell and the Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Uh, both of them get get on. Emma Stone's chemistry with Ryan Gosling is completely amazing. Julianne Moore? Is it Julianne or Julianne? I think it's Julianne Moore. Uh, she's uh, actually doing quite well with Steve in this particular movie. But it's uh, the whole cast of uh, cast of character that are thrown in. Add a bit of bacon, add a bit of Krell, add a bit of Moore, some Stone and some Gosling. And you've got yourself one hell of a movie. Uh, the storyline is about a couple that uh, wants to, that need to They've break up. They've been together for 25 years. The wife wants a divorce because yep. uh, she's been unhappy for a long time. Cheated and, on him. And it's it hits Steve Carell's character. It sucker punches him because he never saw it coming. Hmm. But suffice it to say that the, the actual movie itself is actually quite well the only thing i uh, the only thing that i might want to critique but that's my personal opinion on the matter is simply be because the jokes were few and far between but it is a romance comedy like mitch pointed out that's so. what you for romance and comedy if you, yeah. want to, if you want straight jokes you go see a comedy exactly if you want straight romance well we we're not we're not gonna go yeah but the jokes were powerful folks we were bent double in our seats laughing <laughs> Anyways, folks, well, that's us reviewing this particular movie, and we can tell you that it's well worth it. And I think that if we're not mistaken, which we're gonna go check on IMDb and I'll put the cast listing when I upload yeah, this. Yeah, the thing. actress that plays their uh, their um, babysitter, she looks damn familiar. I just ew, can't place it. Oh, I find that. that and Josh Groban is apparently in this particular movie, but we're not certain either. But you can go and see it yourselves, and if any of you know, you can leave a comment down below. Yeah, honestly, any movie with Emma Stone or Ellen Page, I tend to like very much. Especially after, after Emma Stone's first two movies that I can recall, um, Zombieland and Easy A, which I both have in my collection, which I both adore. Yeah. So, with that said, two thumbs up from me. Me too. And two thumbs up from me mm. Well, folks, have a nice one. Yeah, and honestly, that, that whole scene where she bursts in on the kid where he's, where he's jerking off, spoiler alert, uh, how many kids has that all happened to? Yeah, it's happened to me. <laughs> Say bye now, Mitch. Bye, Mitch.